You know what I love? Dessert. And I don't discriminate. I love cookies, I love candy, I love ice cream, I love pie, I love cheesecake. Mm. And I eat dessert every single day, sometimes more than once. I'm a registered dietitian and I want to encourage you to eat more dessert. If you're new here, first of all, welcome. But you might be thinking, if this chick is a dietitian, why is she advocating so much for eating dessert every day? One of the biggest reasons that I encourage dessert to all the people I work with and why I enjoy it myself every single day is because I have seen time and time again, not only through my own journey, but in my patients and clients as well, that deprivation never pays off. When we deprive ourselves of anything, whether it's a certain nutrient or maybe it's an entire food group like carbs, for example, seems to be very popular right now, we often catapult ourselves into what's known as the restrict binge cycle. I have a whole video on this where I describe what it is and how to get out of it, so definitely give that a watch if you are wanting to learn more about that. Basically what happens is if we deprive ourselves of foods that we love, and we love dessert here, we're eventually guaranteeing that we're going to end up overeating if not completely binging on those foods later. And then after the binge, you're gonna feel so guilty for what you've done, even though it wasn't your fault, it was your biology protecting you. But you'll end up going back right into restriction because of that guilt that came along with the binge. So I would much rather personally enjoy a little bit of dessert every single day, sometimes more than others, than have to restrict them most days of the week and then end up overdoing it once feeling like crap for doing that, and then going back into that restriction. So this leads me right into the topic of cheat meals. I'm sure you've heard of them before, but cheat meals are just pre-planned meals where you get to enjoy all the foods you love while you focus on health the rest of the days of the week. The idea behind this is that you won't feel that restriction because you know, you have that cheat meal or cheat day to look forward to, but this often backfires. First of all, when we save up for our meals, we usually end up overeating at said meal. I mean, it makes sense. We're so hungry from depriving ourselves of whatever meal or food or whatever it is that we're going to overcompensate and our cravings are gonna come in hot at that cheat meal. And we know that overeating on occasion is fine, but if that's going to lead you into the restrict binge cycle, then we don't want it. Plus what often happens is this cheat meal turns into a cheat day and then it turns into cheat days and maybe even a cheat week and you end up eating so much more than what you originally planned that you just don't feel the best after that. The whole point of the cheat meal was to allow you to get back on track to whatever you were trying to achieve before, but you end up enjoying that cheat meal so much because you're depriving those foods that the cheat meal turns into a lot more than just one meal a lot of times for a lot of people. Not to mention, our body likes having a regular intake of all types of foods. Eating consistently with a balance of protein, healthy fat, and fiber, along with our carb-rich foods at each meal and snack, is going to be the best things for our blood sugar and overall health. I don't know about you, but I don't feel very good when I restrict for a large part of the day, whether intentional or not, and then I end up eating way too much at the next meal. Try your best to eat consistently, maybe every three to four hours or so. And again, try to get that combo of protein, healthy fat, and fiber at each meal and snack. I also wanna make the point that when I say I'm eating dessert every day, I'm not talking about healthified desserts. Sure, I'll enjoy a nice avocado mousse or black bean brownie, but I'd much rather have the real thing, and I usually do. I'm not eating dessert to satisfy my physical well-being as much as I am to satisfy my emotional well-being. And so what's the point of eating a black bean brownie if it's not actually going to satisfy my need and my hunger for that dessert? So yeah, portion control is key when eating dessert on a regular basis. Just because I'm not about following diets does not mean that I am anti-health. Having a moderate, appropriate to me amount of a decadent, delicious brownie is going to be a lot more satisfying than having a big amount of a black bean brownie. I make sure to savor each bite. I really enjoy it. I'm always mindful when I'm eating desserts. That way I truly can enjoy it. And the great thing is, I know I can do it all again the next day, and so I don't feel the need to eat everything at once because I know I can have it again as much as I want. 
So bottom line, eating dessert every day has actually helped me live my healthiest version of myself because I'm no longer saving my calories for it or waiting until my cheat day to enjoy my favorite dessert. I'm having it whenever I want. I have a little bit, I move on, and I get to have it again the next day if I want to. So if you have been living in a cycle of telling yourself you're not allowed to enjoy those foods, I highly recommend that you work on incorporating every single food that you enjoy and you will truly feel like you're in the driver's seat again. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like it if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment below letting me know what you want me to talk about next. Bye, guys.